With over 60 racers to choose from in Disney Speedstorm, it can be hard to choose who to unlock, level, and play. So with all of these racers, why would you play Cruella de Vil? Cruella de Vil joins the race as a speedster class. Being a speedster, she gains a large amount of boost meter from speed pads. Use this in combination with drifting to keep her topped off with boost throughout the race. Cruel Deville has the following skills. Rush, Shot, Bomb, Shield, and her own unique skill, Driving Obsession. As she levels up, she receives bonuses to both the Rush and Shot skills, helping her catch up by extending boost, taking shortcuts, and sniping those in front of you. Cruella's driving obsession puts her into a fit of road rage. When uncharged, she slams on her horn, honking at those in front of her. While in this fit of rage, she becomes invincible and stuns any players in front of her. When charging her driving obsession, Cruella transforms her cart, causing it to expel fire from both sides. While transformed, she gains a long speed boost and can stun anyone she touches. Using the charged version does stop her boost meter from draining and is a great way to chain your boosts together. The Cruel Gal comes in with solid top speed and acceleration, average handling, and low boost in combat stats. This means she'll be able to quickly take the lead but will have a hard time holding it compared to some of the other racers, as her boost efficiency is abysmal, causing it to drain very quickly whenever it's used. Her low combat stat will also make it more punishing for whenever you are stunned. As the first mid-season racer we'll be covering, our crew options are going to be very limited. She's the only racer in her collection and brings along a total of six crew options. So to start, we'll grab her epic crew, Jasper, to provide a boost to all of her stats while giving her the shield skill at the start of the race. After that, we'll be focusing on our top speed crew, Horus and Captain. Horus will give us a bonus to top speed, handling, combat, and the rush skill, while Captain will give us a bonus to top speed, handling, and the shield skill. Since there's no other crew that will give us a top speed bonus, we'll want to focus on the boost stat since this will help Cruella stay at her top speed for as long as possible. For this, we'll be going with the Nanny, as it provides a bonus to the boost, combat, and acceleration stats. The combat acceleration stats will help her recover quickly whenever she is stunned as well. Pros. Good top speed and acceleration. She has a strong and versatile unique skill and her rush and shot skills will level up with her without the need of crew. Cons. Uh, she has limited crew options. Uh, her being a mid-season racer means that not only are, is she hard to get, but her crew is hard to get, and she has bad boost and combat stats. As we go through covering each of the racers, we'll be adding them to this tier list. Cruella's top speed and acceleration stats will keep her near the front in most races, and having the rush skill in her kit gives her some shortcut options that other racers may not have, and not needing crew to increase the shot skill allows that skill to always be a threat as well. Her charged unique gives her the ability to stay at a high speed while not using boost meter, and the uncharged can give you some much needed protection. Learning to use the charged unique or her boost meter is critical to playing Cruella. If you're able to get this down, her kit will shine, and that's why she fashionably lands in the A tier. Hey, thanks for watching that video. Uh, make sure you give that a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're not already following. And uh, check me out sometime on Twitch. I stream my ranked runs quite often on there. I'll see you next time on Why Would You Play?